Parker. Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Three Flings, the only show on Twitch with three T-Flings every Friday night. Three Flings is a collection of one-shot adventures from the Uncaged Anthology, so if this is your first episode or your 80th, welcome! You are all caught up! Tonight, we are playing The Lying, the Lich, and the War Zone by Jesse Jordan from Uncaged Volume 4, and it's our final adventure from Uncaged Volume 4. Tonight's adventure has a couple of content warnings. Uh, it will feature allusions to sexual abuse, gender-based harassment, slavery, enclosed spaces, and because Ophelia is here, there is, as ever, the potential for snakes. So, Me? without further ado, let's meet our teeth, starting by welcoming back Draz! Happy New Year! Tell Hello. us about your teeth! I'm Draz. I play Vittori, our resident Gloomstalker Ranger, who likes to do the shooty shoot with her crossbow, and she is accompanied by her pet dire, oh, dire wolf toast. <laughs> Zan, tell us about your teeth. Hello, oh, I'm playing Shy, our resident knowledge cleric slash ranger teeth, and she knows everything about everything and will throw the book at you if you annoy her. <laughs> And lastly, never leastly, Ink, tell us about your teeth. Hey, my name is Ink. Um, as usual, I am playing your magical girl pack of the Tome Warlock Frog Queen, Ophelia. Uh, as mentioned, she has a frog named Fred, which I got oh. my frog in the mail finally this week. Yeah! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Um, she also so beautiful! An, she also has an imp friend named Piroshi, and, uh, you know, gonna do what you're gonna do. We're on our way to a demon party, and it's sure to be a time. <laughs> so, speaking of that demon party, who wants to give us a uh, previously on Three Flings? You played Legend of the White Snake by Lisa Penrose. Teethlings. Yes, yes, we got Uber we Tea were... Festival. <laughs> yep, uh, and we bought a bit of tea and learned a few things about the village, including uh, that... There was someone who was missing. There was an incident that had happened the year before where she was revealed to be a snake lady. And, Snady. um, <laughs> <laughs> And the, we found out later that the monk imprisoned her, uh, by tricking her into a, a building and sealing her in there. And her husband was sick and dying. And, there we were, we were talking to people, we were just like, okay, it sounds as if this lady is not a bad person and we should free her. So, we went and we saw her and turns out that she originally was a snake who got turned into a snady by magic and decided to dedicate herself to the town. So, she was really not a bad person, so we went about freeing her by each revealing a secret. Yes. And what secrets they were! Oh yes, they were great secrets. You'll have to go back and find out what they were. Um, <laughs> wink. <laughs> wink. <laughs> wink, wink. So as we were freeing her, a mammoth burst through the wall, and it turns out I'm it is the lady's husband who decided Must that... Be who decided that since she wasn't in fact human had decided that she was evil and a demon and stole his power um turns out none of that was true but uh because he betrayed his wife she decided that she was going to leave him and therefore he was going to die of old age very shortly as he deserves, and also the turtle just kind of, just kind of was like, well, I guess we learned something from that, and we're like, I don't know if you learned anything, but he's like, it's fine, and don't worry about that. Uh, there's also now a picture of the Kung Fu Panda poster with Master Chief on it from last episode, <laughs> so if you missed that, also yeah. go check that out. There's a <laughs> lot of things that you... That was totally worth a point of inspiration. Anybody can use inspiration at any time. That's the group inspiration. If you want to, if you are watching and want to give anyone here a crit success or a crit fail, including me, feel free to do so with channel points. So, 
Uh, you had also gotten a message from Ophelia's mom at the end of last episode, asking you to see where her demons had gotten off to. It was just past a war zone, but not too far out of your way. Actually. So, let's say that you left Adara behind trying to figure out how to perfect alcohol-based tea. Yes, DW, there are things you could spend channel points on that aren't a short rest. <laughs> Although I feel like if you did, you'd go off-brand. Yeah. So now that's the real wager, your brand versus chesty <laughs> Oh, crits. Vittori, what have you been up to? We haven't seen you since Tarasmus, I, th I think. Yeah, um, as soon as Adara stays behind for, you know, the alcohol-based tea, Vittori just appears and she's like, oh, good. I didn't, <laughs> like, I was, like, kind of interested in the tea festival, but, like, you know, I didn't want to invoke four tieflings again. So, um, I, I guess Adara is staying back so I can rejoin. Hey, what's up? Like, oh, I do appreciate you staying back until there were just two of us. I still fail to believe that we're that bad of luck. I still I think mean, that this is like yeah, but people. last time there were all four of us, we had to fight a trap. The last so I'm like, I'm not, I don't think, like, I'm not sure I believe it or anything, but it's a, it's a weird coincidence. The okay, last but the terrestrial was also not time, our fault. The last two times there were four of us, things have gotten. Yeah, me. yeah, but like the terrestrial wasn't our fault, but we were instantly teleported to help them deal with the terrestrial as soon as there were four of us in the same area. And the time before that, we were all sucked into a dreamscape to live out just some very weird scenarios. This is life. I just. I don't believe we're bad luck. I truly believe that we are better luck than people think we are. I still can't believe that I haven't found a prophecy yet. There has to be something. Not everything has to be a prophecy, Shy. As you are walking, you start seeing, uh, you pass a bounty board. Vittori, I would say you have an eye out for these. <laughs> I think the bounty board like comes into frame and then like Vittori and Meat goes yeet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, like a question mark on my map. Yeah, the exclamation yeah, like the mark from uh, uh, Metal Gear just appears above her head and the, the accompanying noise sounds. <laughs> she just, she sees it. There's a couple things on there like, um, you know, baby crib never used, uh, <laughs> hand carved five silver. <laughs> Apes There's... gotten stolen. Uh, there's stop stealing my hoe or I'll steal your wife. And amidst that, there's, um, an offer from the Knights of the Shining Way looking for assistance from any martial types and strong men of conviction. Offering oh, us- We can just ignore this. Okay, goodbye. Yep. Offering a thousand gold ahead to any who can help them eliminate an undead menace. Ooh, undead. Ooh. That's, uh... <laughs> Vittori, like, turns her attention immediately to the board, see sees that, reads it, sees it, like, they're wanting men specifically, and she loses all interest, and she starts to walk <laughs> away. And then it's Shine like, appears and is like, oh, undead. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's it's like you stopped reading after men, but Shy skimmed further and was just like, oh, they've got an undead problem. I mean, yeah, that tends to be our forte, but at the same time, I'm open to the idea that uh, it might, might be good undead, but also if it's a problem, I'm not sure. I mean, we've rarely encountered good undead, but it is possible and if they're looking for strong men of conviction, chances are they would not have an open mind. Oh, I stopped yeah. caring after I, I they asked for I think that, like, um, yeah, like, if they're, they're gonna be misogynistic and, like, sexist and everything, then, you know, maybe they should just have to deal with their undead problem. Oh. Anyway, that's it for this adventure. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, everyone. Thanks, Jesse. Uh... <laughs> 
But, yeah, uh, I mean, like, I kind of care strictly on the basis that it's an undead, but, like, I have stopped caring because I asked for... for men. Yeah. Well. Their encampment <laughs> is on your slight. way. <laughs> Shit! So Without you'll pass Dara. by it anyway. Without a star, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> uh. So, as you're debating whether or not to help... You approach a, a siege camp oh. set up outside a dwarven outpost. It looks like a tower that was almost built in reverse, like an upside down tower. Oh, cool. And as you approach, you see a bunch of knights standing in a row, shields and swords out, priests in the back, praying as a visage of um, a human woman who is all, who is merely bones with an illusion of, uh, it looks almost like a bluish tinge of skin. She's clearly not alive. Projected over them in a robes, telling them, Calling them by name, it's like, now, Brother Michael, Lieutenant Chadwick, Mac Orkin, Lord Richard Satchel, and, of course, Captain Kavanaugh, I have no problem killing each and every one of you. Turn around and go home. Leave me alone. And vanish. What? I like her already. <laughs> <laughs> go, boss. They really said, stop killing my vibe, go home. Before she vanishes, actually, she sees the three of you approaching and says, Ah, perhaps someone who will listen to reason. They look smarter than the rest of you. Which causes uh -huh. the knights to turn around. And then yeah. she vanishes. Shai's just smirking. I resemble that remark. <laughs> uh, Ophelia does like an awkward, like, Hi! <laughs> I feel this in internally like she's undead though. She's undead. Yeah, kinda, kinda, yeah. Uh, it's like she might be undead, but she's clearly not mindless. Yeah. The knights sheathe their weapons and go, Ah! Martial types! Yes, welcome! Come in, come in! Do any of you need healing? Did you take any? Did you run in any monsters along the way? No, it can be dangerous. The car is just are like strong ladies. Wait, are, are, are we here for that? I thought we were just passing through. We're not men, but this is all internal. <laughs> it's like uh, clicking this. Oh, are are you traveling healers, like paladins of some sort? Ah, well, we're uh, laying siege to this outpost. You see, casually. Uh, the one called Captain Kavanaugh steps forward. This is, you see, we serve an order for God Gjorv. Unfortunately, his golden light is being dimmed by this abomination, the Lich Azalea Greywind. Uh, Do I know of this god of which they speak? I was gonna say yes, yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, shit. Uh, you can give me Tori religion. now has religion sure. proficiency, I forget oh, about gosh. that. Oh gosh. Religion uh, check. went to Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can all give me uh, religion checks. Okay, I got a 17. Ooh, I got a um, natural 20. That'll give me a 28. Oh dang. I got a 14. Okay. Nice. So, um, Ophelia and Vittori, you know that Gjorv is a demigod of some sort? Okay. A demigod of oh, some and sort! You also know that he's not really worshipped anymore. He's pretty obscure. He's, it's like, kind of... You know, when you learn about, like, kind of a, a Norse god or something that it's like, oh, maybe we, like, sort of know about them. Or when you learn that, like, Ishtar and Adana kind of became the same person, although not nearly as big of a deal as Ishtar and, 
on a, but that sort of thing. We're like, oh yeah, that sounds kind of familiar. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, I heard about it in the history books. <laughs> You're shy. <laughs> you would have also learned that uh, Gjorv was um, one who was known to cultivate magic in followers. He um, would um, teach others and give gift them magic. But also, he was known for his violent temper. Ah. Okay. So, temperamental. Bet he passed that on to some of his followers. Okay. This is fine. Meaning it's not. Um. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Flames around the dog up here. I was gonna say yes. <laughs> uh, Captain Kavanaugh, totally not even noticing that you seem to know, all of you know who he's talking about. Uh -huh. Just uh, kind of puffs himself up to be like, settle down, I'm gonna tell you a story. Uh -huh. now. Oh no. I was just like, yes. Tari's so eyes immediately glaze In life, this abominable oh. lich, this gray wind woman, was a power-crazed sorceress with little magical talent and ridiculous ambitions far beyond her capabilities. When the word of Gjorv's mighty exploits reached her, practicing her feeble craft in the squalor of some hut, she became obsessed. She plotted to bewitch and seduce the noble Gjorv in a bid to steal his power for herself. Gjorv, kind of heart and... Full of pity for the poor wench, constructed a series of arcane tests for her as a generous attempt to help her increase her spellcasting abilities. He was a teacher at heart. Rather than complete the test fairly, the witch cheated at each and every one. She stole bits of Georg's powers with each test, and she corrupted him. Armed with a god-killing poison and the deceitful nature of all women. Poison. She lied to Kyorv and requested an audience with him. Once they met, she demanded he relinquish his godhood under her, a mere woman. No, no offense meant to present company, of course. You would never insult Kyorv. Uh, Kyorv taught the poor simpleton mm -hmm. the perils of divinity, mm -hmm. explaining mm -hmm. to her feeble mind that the merest portion of his power would shatter her womanly form. She gave him an ultimatum. She would kill him and take it for herself, or he would have to kill her, rather than raise his hand in violence against a lonely woman. I mean, what man would hit a woman? Lord Georg, praise be his name, the greatest of us all, knelt at the witch's feet and allowed himself to be slain. This is why... We honor him still, and have come to this place to avenge him. Brother Michael expects to be able to open the gate shortly, but from there, there's no telling what sort of foulness, what feminine sorcery awaits inside. Our mm -hmm. order is mighty, but we're few in number. Will you join us? We'll, we'll pay you, of course. I will give the, the flyer set a thousand ahead. Insight I mean... check. Does he believe this bullshit? Oh, give me an insight check, please do. Okay, uh, well, yeah. you're doing that. Uh, I want Tori, to... I feel like, already, like, kind of hates these people, but I think she'll just do a really inside check just in case. Uh, <laughs> That's a 23. Well, yeah. uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, uh, that is a 23 as well. Okay, he so absolutely you... believes this. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, no, this is it, his though. god, and his god can do no wrong. Uh, yep. I'm gonna look I, had a, at his... I had a feeling we're just gonna be talking into the wind if we even try to argue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at him and say, uh, isn't? I feel like parts of the, that story are incorrect. Like sorcerers don't become liches. Like only wizards do, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, <laughs> Mike <Mark> Trap. <Yeah, laughs> please, please, Ophelia. Actually, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like. If I'm not 
if I'm not wrong, isn't it that, uh, actually, like, only wizards become liches? I thought that was kind of the thing. Like, I don't think sorcerers are capable of doing that, because wi wizards have to, like, put their stuff in a soul jar, and then, like, the whole process of becoming a lich. She corrupted his magic, I'm sure. She must have found a way. And, uh, one of the other knights speaks up and goes, Sorceress or witch, it doesn't really matter. I've personally felt that women in magic never mix. There's just too much oh. raw emotion there, all fustering oh. about. It's oh. unsafe. If, if you would like... right, Shia's just going to look at both of them and it's just gonna, gonna be like, I think we're done talking here. Uh, while he does <laughs> that, I'm gonna kind of like look at him, uh, give him the look, like raise an eyebrow, and then conjure up a mage hand and like flip it off at him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh... No. Of course, it's... We, we <laughs> would like your assistance. There's no need for rudeness. Especially from young ladies. That's very crude. Oh, we, we don't gosh. appreciate. Like, are you really going to talk to us about being rude? <laughs> Uh, um, are there any, you know, like, torches or, like, other light- like, flame-based light sources nearby? Yeah, there's, um, you are kind of at their encampment. So, I mean, it's still, like, midday, so they're not, like, lit, but there's, uh... It's like the sun. It's there's the face. sun. There's a bunch of tents around, and, uh, yeah, there's torches. It's lit. Yeah, um, yeah, Vitari is gonna use Thaumaturgy to just, like, make all of the nearby fire sources to just, like, you know, increase in intensity. Yeah, I think Shai is going to actually kind of, like, break out with Storius and go, Mysterious, take notes. We need to make a comparative study on, um, dedicated male religions. <laughs> Mysterious immediately starts like scribbling on. Uh... <laughs> what if Mysterious has like tiny spectacles? <laughs> yes, like, you like, like, spectacles. Little, like like pince nez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just see this writing start to like flow across Mysterious's flank in cursive. Oh <laughs> Hell yeah. <buddy>. Yes. <laughs> I think Toast like feeling like. The hostility of his mom starts barking. Uh. So, are we here to dither, or will you help us? I mean, what happens? Say, what happens to the intervention? We say no. You know what? I think we could find our own way in. <laughs> yes, we do appreciate the little story, though. The story was uh, very interesting. At this point, um, are you starting to head out? I'm gonna say, Brother Michael turns and goes, I've got it! I've got it! Oh! Visitors! Are you coming in with us? Oh, Brother Michael here. Uh, a priest. Oh, are you a Brighthorn? That's oh, lovely. yes, I am. Glad to be recognized. Ah, yes, welcome, welcome. So you recognize there's an unholy abomination inside. As a Brighthorn, surely you'll want her. Hmm, I think technically we have a situation where we have someone who is clearly undead in an altercation with a nominal religious group. Interesting, interesting. I thought you would be against an unholy menace. But anyway, gentlemen, Pippo, if you're ready to go in, then we are. It's like, Shai's just like, ideal in facts. I, I deal in facts and, and logic. Theory. And logic. <laughs> Debates in the marketplace of ideas. Mm hmm. Huh. Are you going to go in with them or look for another way in? Because they are just starting to pile in. Oh gosh. I'd rather look for another way in. Yeah, yeah I would too. How do I feel like dress from the street? <laughs> if, if nothing else, Shy can get us into a better position by using Windwalk. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna wind walk through the tower. Is that what you're like, I'm gonna I gotta discuss that with them with with uh Vittoria and Ophelia because 
it could be risky if there are things like traps that we might materialize into. Yeah, I was trying to see if you can go through walls with that. You can't go through walls, but you can go through things like uh, uh, window cracks. Got um, it. Things like it, things that have an opening in them where air can okay. flow through. Cool. So we can get ahead of them by using Windwalk if Lovely. we want to go that route. Like, honestly, I'm quite fine with that because I feel like dealing with a trap is very minimal compared to, like, the satisfaction of proving them wrong. Yes, please. I'd rather be ahead of them than following behind. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Definitely. The spite. The spite <laughs> yes. fueled adventure? The spite. The spite. Let's, let's go ahead and use Woodwalk, get ahead of them a, a decent ways so that uh, we can stay ahead of them. What hopefully. if we speedrun to the Lich? Backwards <laughs> uh, Lich? Woodwalk directly to the Lich? I, yeah. I don't know if that will um, skip the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could do that. I mean, if we've the DM is willing. the week has been this week. What did we <laughs> Like I said, but backwards long jump your way to the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I I think we'll want to like try and skip some of the challenges so that the other group is slowed down, but maybe we mm -hmm. should go through some of the tower because we don't know exactly where the lich is in the tower we yeah, could go to the true. top and she's in the middle mm -hmm. <laughs> we could be working our way down while they're working their way up and then we meet somewhere in between we're gonna do the skyrim uh save file transportation <laughs> <laughs> ah, i love it okay okay so, Brother Michael takes the lead. Um, Captain Kavanaugh says, are, are you sure? You won't come with us. At that point, Shy will snap the bead and they will turn into... It, we will all turn into, like, little glowing clouds and just drift past them. <laughs> well, well putting middle fingers up as, like, I just turned into... The preps <laughs> looked at me. I put up my middle finger at that. <laughs> As you're passing, you hear the one called Lord Richard Sashel just saying, So that's why we don't allow women in the Order. Is his Too name... unstable. Is his name supposed to be Dick Satchel? I'm so confused. <laughs> Dick Bag. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I was, like, I, I was like, I feel like there's a joke here that I'm trying to put together. It's uh, an Ace Attorney name. <laughs> it really is. That's what it is. It's an Ace Attorney name. Big brain energy. Zooming ahead, uh, you go down through, uh, some stairs. You go down a flight of stairs. And here, uh, Gwen, if you want to put up that first map, I can show you where you're going. For those of you that don't oh, know, Gwen is behind that. the curtain tonight. So, go so Sometimes I can to still hear her voice. Yes. There's nothing uh. to see here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You are going down those stairs. Uh, with the folks following behind you. And you continue zooming on when you hear a massive crash behind you. And a shriek. Yes, and <laughs> followed by the grinding of some stone. Oh, that's awkward. Mm-hmm. So you stop them. working too. I think we would... <laughs> Victoria's Ophelia's gonna like... continue. Ophelia's like, I understand that we should probably stop and see what's going on, but I'm also like... <laughs> I mean, we, we so still have... Sexist. We have plenty of time as clouds. One of us could, like, zip up, see what's going on, and come back. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Back, say low and then get back. I, yeah, I want to see what the what happened that these guys just went through the winger apparently. Okay. Going back, Ophelia, you see Brother Michael is pulp. F. Oh, okay. The lich 
appears next to you and talking to you as if she could see you uh, and the group. Because dwarves call that trap the last thought, which is somewhat amusing. Of course, it's nearly, not nearly as amusing, I was thinking that an order of noble knights would put their priest at the front of their marching order when they expect danger at every turn. It's almost as though they see non-knights as disposable. Turning to you, Ophelia, oh. she says, they, they were going to put you in the front, too, weren't they? <laughs> Ophelia was going to be Paul. I'm going to, like, look at look at Michael on the ground and be like, yeah, he... I don't think he's getting back up. <laughs> <laughs> <You do. laughs> Looking at Pulp on the ground, I don't think he's getting back yeah, up. He might, Why would uh, you think that, Ophelia? Whatever would... I, I don't think anything in the Nervalism kit can fix that. <laughs> just like pours a healing potion and a, a, a chunky salsa pours one out for oh. <laughs> and now uh, completely ignoring the guys and just talking to Ophelia she says I don't know what they've told you though I can guess centuries ago I was a wizard of some renown I knew it as my mastery over my craft grew, so too did my reputation. And that's how that petulant, sniveling man-child Giorv heard of me. The bastard son of a god, he deluded himself into believing that I owed him for my talent in pyromancy. He became enamored with me. No, that's the wrong word. He became obsessed. Persuading himself and any who would listen that I belonged to him, that I was madly in love with him, and my exploits were all done to glorify his name. When I publicly scorned him, he was furious and had my friends kidnapped and imprisoned, using them as bait to lure me into completing a series of damn near impossible tasks. Of course, in all his mercy, he gave me the option to simply give myself to him in exchange for their freedom. I refused and accomplished his idiotic series of trials and shamed him in front of his own court. In response, he harnessed the power of my lineage and seared the very flesh from my bones. The last words I heard him say were that if I couldn't be his, I might as well be dead. Hmm. Uh, the, uh, Ophelia, who is the cloud, gonna turn to her and be like, yeah, we... Uh, my friends and I have uh, a sort of reputation for uh, running into terrible men, and it seems like this is no exception. Why don't you come to my office and chat? Oh, yes, uh, I should probably And you're splitting other... the party. <laughs> <You're so laughs> yes, well, um, is it far? I should probably uh, make my friends aware. Oh, I could take you right there. Oh, okay. Lovely. At which point, Captain Kavanaugh goes, WITCH! and attempts to throw a lance through the visage of uh, Azalea. Oh, that's, that's a bad move. Let's roll initiative. Oh, okay. Oh, oh gosh, oh. and we're not even corporeal. Uh, I, okay. Well, damn. <laughs> Imagine being corporeal could never be me. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Since you're not corporeal, they can't see you, really. So okay, it's I got cool. A yeah, he's gonna throw that. You're gaseous form, so they're not they're they can't even try and fight you. You see them pull out weapons. And as you zoom to get your friends, Ophelia, you and everyone else who is wind walking at this time, I'm all feel yourselves here. disintegrate and then reemerge in Azalea's study. We do not oh. need the map anymore. <laughs> that was fast. We'll need it again. Don't worry. <laughs> we did really just clip through the walls to the to the <laughs> office, didn't we? We really do be speed running. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, are are we still windwalk form though? We did yes. get, just get disintegrated. You are okay. windwalked, but you were teleported. That is disconcerting. 
Uh, yes. Uh, well, I, while we're getting teleported, I'm gonna be like, so, uh, if we were, like, assuming that this, uh, that those group of guys were, like, kind of, like, asshats, yeah, we were correct. Uh, <laughs> this is a daily study. Oh, it was quite clear that the story that they told us before was propaganda yeah. perpetuated by their religion. Yeah, it, you know, tale is, old, tale is old as time, really, the way that, like, you could practically, like, hear all of the revisions and stuff. Yeah, they weren't even really trying to hide the truth so much as cover it up in bravado. Yeah, yes. definitely. Which also, overcompensates. I, I did find out, too. She was, in fact, a wizard. So, I was Oh, right. good. Oh, yeah. I was, indeed. Oh, hello again. <laughs> hello. Welcome. What, so, does know, have, what does she have in her study? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Um, let's see if there's actually... Also, just to be polite, we should probably rematerialize. Yeah, probably. I mean, she could see me when I wasn't, like, corporeal, so I don't think she has issues with seeing us. Okay. Well, it may be true, but um... it's kind of, um... It might not send the the message we want to send if we main incorp remain incorporeal. That's fair. <laughs> Her. In the study, yeah. you landed on a teleportation circle in the corner. There's also a desk with some pillars around it. There's um, suits of armor on either side. There's a massive scrying pool and so many bookcases. Oh, thank you for the Oscar check. check. Yes. Uh, when I see the suits of armor, I'm gonna look at Azalea and be like, Oh, are these alive? We've met a couple of those. They're quite funny. <gasps> Just, you know, I have thought of doing that when I was lonely, but, um, no, unfortunately, I just like to put them on and walk around in them sometimes. Well, that's even better. That's fun. I like that a lot. So... The Order, the Knights of the Shining Way, tried to hire some women. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> they, 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 well, really. they didn't Wouldn't try very call hard. Them even attempting, it was just like, we saw the notice, and then, like, you know, moved on as soon as we realized they were only wanted men, and then, like, we were near their campsite, and they thought that we, you know, were interested. And I was confused, honestly. Yeah, and... it's like, for, for some reason, they thought we would want to join them, even though every other sentence they uttered was disparaging to women, and yeah. they wouldn't realize it until we acted offended. <laughs> yeah. And even then, they didn't even do a sorry you were offended thing. They were just it was like, more like, oh, not, not you. <laughs> it was, the it was, illusion. It was like other girls. <laughs> The illusory skin and uh, that the illusion of like her face that's above her bones starts to crack a smile and her eyes actually sparkle <laughs> when you're telling her this. Literally? Literally sparkle. Oh, it's oh amazing. But yes, uh, they didn't really try to hire us as much as we showed up. They were like, oh, I guess you're here. Might as well take advantage of that. And then uh, basically did the whole introductory thing and we kind of just sat there and went okay cool and then left them to their own devices <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah the last thing any of us Keanu were Reeves to... like icon meme like us uh, not reading all that sorry like happy for you or sorry for that that happened that's <laughs> what <laughs> like... found about that whole monologue about the god to be yeah. honest the last thing any of us were going to do is be under their command for yeah any length of time. Yeah. I was so close to just, like, kicking their ass right there, but I was like, that's... Uh, I'm not sure what would happen if that happened. So did you know that they, uh, apparently on the message board, they're also selling a baby crib that's never been used, although I don't know how that's possible unless they just, like, have the baby sleeping in bed with them. Are you sure that wasn't just a message board for the town? That was the message board for the town. Yeah, I think oh, it was, yes, that was something else. Oh, yes, apparently it's like that. Baby crib. It just ah. got stolen. <laughs> it was a different thing. 
Yes. So, well... It's like stolen, or there are some very unhappy parents that aren't able to have children. Oh. Why would you... Baby shoes never want to feel like... I was gonna say, yeah, that's... Ophelia's like, I mean, I never wore baby shoes. <laughs> she, uh, Azalea kind of looks at you and says, well, it's clear that, uh, they were never going to get the three of you on their side. Perhaps we still have time to save my pet. Oh, oh what kind of pet? Frog. <laughs> I don't have a frog. Um, I do have do a hydra. Have a oh, you have a hydra? Oh. Adara screams in the background <laughs> of having a bubble sword. Yes, they're- oh, hydras are very cool. Like, all the big, big heads and- ooh. Yeah. You, you can give all the heads, like, a, a pat if they want. Yes, but it's... you don't- you never end up having enough arms for that. I- I yeah, would say that there cool. are very few hydras that would need- protection, but um, yeah, I guess having some knights uh, around probably wouldn't be good. What do you see when you, what do you say when you greet me? Hi, Draz. Oh. Uh... How do I ban Draz from a stream? I <laughs> 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 uh... well... had to come off mute to be like, that's my joke, Ink. <laughs> it's okay, we gave you recognition yeah. for it earlier. <laughs> I've also already been threatened with bands twice this stream. Take a shot every time Trez gets threatened to get banned. Uh, how, how logistically should we protect your pet? Well, they were approaching it soon. They might have already. I hope they haven't. I can oh. teleport you back to my teleportation chamber. You'll have to make your way through the tower backwards, but then perhaps you can rid me of these, this order, the Shining Way, once and for all. That would at least let me sleep in peace. Oh, that would be lovely. Um, although I would say about the Hydra, I am not that concerned. I would put my money on the Hydra strictly because it seems like their competence is not of primary concern. <laughs> you know. One thing I did forget to do was insight check her on her story. Mm. But uh, she seems to be fairly candid with us, so I'm going to go ahead and insight just because I insighted them as well. Okay. Uh, oh well. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm gonna look. O I'm gonna look over at uh, Victoria Chai and be like, "Oh yes, by the way, Brother Michael is now a pulp." Oh no! I knew yes. him so well for like five seconds. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, that's, that's really bad, but I really didn't have the chance to get attached to him, like, but, like, that sucks. He seemed, like, the only one there that wasn't, like, an asshole, so... Oof. Yeah, but that, no, he's a pulp. That is unfortunate. Um, it is. That's a 29 for insight. Yeah, she is on the up and up with you. Oh, she, no. um... Is not used to talking to people. Uh, and doesn't really feel the need to lie. To say she's not used to talking to people. It's okay, COVID's done that to me too. <laughs> uh. I don't know, but this might be some someone that Shy might want to keep in contact with. Anyway, um... So, let's go back to the teleportation room and see if we can save this Hydra. Oh, yes, the, the Hydra. Why don't we all, like, like, you know, like, rode each of its heads and then, like, basically strapped ourselves to each of its heads and, like, that would just, like, make each head deadlier. And, like, make oh, even attack kind of fun. It'd be kind of fun. I think we can figure out a different plan. After all, I'm pretty sure that the Hydra won't know we're friends? What if we befriend the Hydra? I mean, what if we spend the rest of the stream befriending a Hydra? Sure, we can try that. <laughs> uh, is there... Nah, you know a lot of languages. Do you know how to speak Hydra? Uh, I, I don't know 
what languages a hydro would speak. I could speak Aquid. That might. I was gonna say, if you give me ten minutes, I can understand a hydra. (laughs) She's not very chatty. Aw, shame. (laughs) Okay, okay, we can go. I'm not sure that would pick up on Mike because of Discord. We heard it. We heard it. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Don't worry, we heard the. Oh, actually, sorry, Shy, with your insight check, the only thing that struck you as funky was uh, what she had said to Ophelia about the armor not being alive. Oh. <laughs> that was the okay. Line. You know, funny. the thing is having um, having some extra protections in her study makes sense. I mean, yeah, it does, realistically. Yeah. (laughs) She goes, well, if you need a snack or to rest, I don't know what those gentlemen put you through before you got here, but I'm happy to teleport you out. And, um, well, good luck. Oh, yes, we didn't really do much other than bullshit story hour, so I think we're just about fine. Yeah, we pretty much immediately just turned into smoke and uh, drifted yeah. off because they weren't worth our time. Yeah. There are a few gibbering mouthers that are by the teleportation chamber, but don't worry, they shouldn't bother you. Hell yeah. Good. Oh, they recognize friends. Cool. Sure. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> with that, she zaps you in to the teleportation chamber. Um, and we could, nah, you're about to be in combat. We don't need a map there. So there is a scrying pool there and there are in fact vats full of gibbering mouthers. But in addition, there are knights and four veterans. I'm gonna get these folks out. There's a whole group of these dudes. You do not see Captain Kavanaugh, but you do see a hill giant. Sorry, when did he come in? Looking past you, you see the door to this chamber has been broken open. Oh, no. Let's roll initiative. Yeah, Uh, let's. I just want to do something. I just want to check something real quick. Is it possible to turn that into one. hill giants? Is that an actual thing? Attack on Titan. With like true polymorph? Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, oh yes, here. I was like, is the captain now a hill giant? Because so this is going to complicate some stuff. Oh my god, a 12. Probably because Vittori was like, what the fuck? Why is a hill giant here? I mean, that's fair. I would too. That's not. Like, Victoria, like, strides into the room, like, waiting to do combat, and then you hear the record scratch sound. Yep, that's me. If you're wondering how I got into this situation, we have to go back to the summer of 82. Uh, maybe she would be less alarmed if she had been here for the last adventure, where y'all fought a mammoth out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, every time I think of mammoths, I think of that movie Ice Age. <laughs> Hell yeah. What? What did Shy and, um, uh, uh, Victoria- Victoria got a 12. Ophelia, what did you get? 17. Oh, dang. The one good roll I'm gonna get this time. I got an 8. Okay. What's your, Shy uh, was even more dex? like, oh my god, I held Shy. Yep. What's your dex? Uh, who? Shy. Oh, plus one. Okay. Cool. Why did you just write that? There we go. Okay, Ophelia, you are up first. Okay, uh, so we have a hill giant, we have... A bunch of dudes? Is that all we have? A bunch of dudes. Just a, just a bunch of dudes. Okay. Uh, can I do that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to cast Crown of Stars upon myself. Okay. Ooh, and then pretty. I am, um, 
I am going to uh look at uh look at the men do we see the Hydra at all? You do not. Okay, interesting. And I am going to look at the men and say you can leave now or you can leave on your ass. <laughs> and I'm or going you can to leave into the underworld. <laughs> Yes, and I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my bonus action because I can take a bonus action to throw one of the stars at them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, it's actually like leave... a flower crown that can hit stuff. Hell it's like, yeah. Ophelia, you can leave now and be late for dinner, or leave later and be late as in dead. Yes. Uh, I, I like the idea that it looks like a flower crown, and then like when Ophelia throws like the flowers, like the petals, like turn into blades. Yeah, my idea was if it's a crowd of stars, it would look like little uh, twinkling fairy lights, and then they would turn into like Hell ninja yeah. stars. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Vittori, you are up. All right. Uh, Vittori was gonna go guns blazing, but like. Ophelia is, like, you know, wanting to, like, um, wait for them to make them first move, so I think Victoria will also hold her action. Okay. Listen, I'm not gonna be known as the dick that immediately went after them if they were given a chance to leave. That's fair. fair but, like, her, her, her crossbow is definitely pointed at them. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you for that one. That one is completely warranted. Okay. So, then it is the hill giant's turn. And you see at this point, the hill giant is very badly burned. Um, oh, ah, toasty. He kind of gestures, goes like, and uh, one of the knights behind him goes, do your job! And oh. he lunges forward and is going to try and great club Ophelia. But he's not gonna hit you with that. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, that will, hit. that will? Okay. The second attack will hit. What is it? I just want to know what it is. Let me see. Now I have to do math. Uh, 25. <laughs> no. Okay, yes, that's gonna hit. I was like, because if it's like a 19. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about me not getting out enough dice? Bucks. <laughs> I didn't think the hill giant would fight. <laughs> Why uh, did you think that, Jess? I didn't get out enough d8s. Okay, 15. 20 of legending damage. Okay, um, with that, I am going to cast one of the boats out from my thing. Mm -hmm. um, so let me do a ranged spell thing for that. Yeah. Uh, that's a 14. Does that hit it? Um, yes it does. Okay. Uh, god almighty, I don't have enough d12s for this. Hang on a sec. Do I have- I should have two of them. Okay. Oh god, that's on the ground. Okay. Seven. <laughs> You're taking 20 points of radiant damage. Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> what about like, what about the hill giant was like, 20 points of bludgeoning, and then Ophelia was like, no, you. <laughs> oh. Do you want to hellish rebuke him, too? I think it'll be fun, because he's already burned, so, like, add more fire. Uh, it's up to you. Oh, yes, and he hit me. I want to hellish rebuke that. That's what I thought. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, my headphones unplugged, so I was like... Oh. Okay. Oh, I was, I was, I was, it sounded like you, know, you didn't quite get what we said. So. Yeah. No, I did not. I was just like, oh no, I was sitting there trying to get it to fix. Okay, um... Dex save? Yes. We got an 18. Okay, I yeah. don't remember... What is it for... I don't know what mine is. Oh god, this is the problem. I... Well, this is the problem when I don't actually have uh It's my... eight plus your charisma plus your proficiency. Okay, because this so is So it's your same DC as your usual warlock stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Both of you assume I know what that is. Okay, uh, 18, so it meets. Okay. So that's half damage, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If it meets, it heats. If it meet, if it meets, it meets. Okay. Uh. Is damage ro- damage rolls down if it's us. Uh, you're taking seven points of fire damage. Okay. And the hill giant goes down. Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You were just doing your job. I'm sorry. He was. I mean, if it's as a true I said, polymorph and it's the captain, then he was very badly burned. <laughs> and shy, it is your turn. <laughs> I, I like that Ophelia handled like a monster all on her, and I'm very. Proud. I mean, to be fair, it was a monster. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I did a lot. <laughs> But okay, it's very so... fun to be like, oh yeah, now Ophelia's done. Oh, it's already dead. Who's the next closest? There are several knights here, and other people in armor, and there is a priest. Not Brother Michael. Okay. So yes, it's Brother Michael is a pope. It seems like We'll the... say Acolyte Clarence. <laughs> Seems like the I people who've been the most asshole-ish have been the knights, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, about, are they clustered together a bit? Yeah, this is a small hallway. Hmm. Should I? Have any uh. of the knights attacked or just the hill giant? Just the hill giant at the goading of one of the knights. You know, there is no way any of them would be able to escape from Dawn if she summons it. (laughs) (laughs) And the Lord said, let there be light. And it was good. (laughs) It's like, is it... Is it bad that I kind of want to kill them all by light? They do serve the divine light. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be funny. Okay, so they are the scene. knights of the shining way. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what is the shining way but a ray of light? I think I'm doing this. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think you you should probably take this as a sign. And she's just going to snap her fingers, and the light's just going to come down. Okay. Uh, there's a joke in there about this is your sign to stop. Stop sign. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they each need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Four. How and big is this? Uh, it's a 30 foot radius, so I don't think any of them would yeah. be outside of that. <laughs> That's everybody. Okay. Just seeing how many of these I'm making. Oh, everybody doing so bad. I really, one of these days, so... I want to just, like, have a picture of just... Just Shy doing Dawn and then, like, Vittoria and Ophelia just, like, putting sunglasses on. What? <laughs> Literally just thinking that. Same brain cell. Same, same brain. brain cell. Okay, what is your DC? 18. Okay. Literally only one of them made it. Oh, that's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be really awkward. It's great. You can be like, yeah, this is the bright horn. This is the bright part of bright horn. This is nearly max damage. (laughs) Yes! So that's... Uh, 37. Okay. Oh my god. And the thing is, it's continual. So, um, oh, no. unless they leave, it's going to continue. Cool. I like it. Okay. That is. Oh, what happens to the one who made it? Uh, half damage. Half damage. Okay. Yeah, because so uh, takes... we're we're standing in front of this light, and they're in it, 
and um, whenever a creature ends its turn in the cylinder, it takes more damage. So either they leave, or they continue taking damage. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. I also realize that this is fun because they were like talking about how, you know, women shouldn't be trusted with magic, and here we are being like, bitch. Mm -hmm. Bitch. So at this point, uh, the knight who had the, um, who nudged the giant forward just goes, regroup! Regroup! And he. And the veterans and the priest all run. Ekov's cannon has been fired. Hurry lowers her crossbow, but squints going in just does the this motion. <laughs> this points the fingers at her eyes and back towards them, being like, next so, time if we, if we meet again. What what do you all say we make sure they can't get back in? Um, it, the, the door got busted open by the hell giant, didn't it? So, like, it did. I'm not sure there's a good way to, like, bar it again. Uh, well, Ophelia's gonna, like, awkwardly, like, nudge the hell giant as it is unconscious and burning on the ground and be like, I mean, we can kind of just, like, put him in front of the door. That's true. To block the door? I yeah. mean, the thing is, he seemed reluctant, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean he's what, dead if, now. If he's, he's not dead, he's sleeping. If he's still alive, Shy is going to heal him enough to wake up. Wake me up. I mean, he he was overkilled, but you could you can if you want him to be alive. You can I mean, it's been, it's yes. been it's been less than six seconds. Yeah, you can make him alive. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh. In fact, I I have revivify too. I'm okay, so. I'm the dying. Save what if we have the hell giant as an ally as well as having the hydra as an ally <laughs> yeah but let's let's go ahead and revive him enough that he's going to be talking and um i do not speak giant do they speak giant what? Do, they speak, do they speak giant yeah they... i know Harry. the thing is it ended it's up being it, it ended up being a common language remember when shy oh, was yeah. not learning any common languages so she does not know elvish and she does not know uh, giant oh and that's my. about all um, she doesn't Ophelia have speak with tongues exactly like... i do not but i do have comprehend language oh so yeah that's the thing if uh if shy wants to try to wake up this uh this little hell giant and heal him i will cast uh comprehend language as a ritual oh, yeah. yes Okay. So I can understand what he is saying. I mean, if he knows any other languages, uh, Shai can try giant. to... Okay. F in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jess is gonna say he also knows Hill. Hank Hill? <sighs> um. Yeah. Once reviving him... And as you're attending to him, you see that he had been, like, chained up. There's, oh, um, like, sores on his wrists and around his neck. Yeah. Well, that is awful, and I am removing those as I am yeah. healing him. Herbalism kit to pull out my fantasy Nivea to put that on his <laughs> rubbed skin. When he revives, he looks at Ophelia and screams and immediately tries to hide from Ophelia. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to lean into my bag and like pull out some of the dried fruit and cookies I have and offer it to him. It's fire bad! Tray of cookies. Aww. Aww. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, Give I'm me gonna... a persuasion check, Ophelia. <laughs> Oh god almighty, okay. And can Shy help by yeah. being comforting and healing <laughs> I was gonna say, it's Sorry, 21 or 25, take your pick. <laughs> I get a plus 10 to that. Um. You could see the hill giant is still, like, pretty uncomfortable with you, but since you're offering food, it's... He's going for the food. Mm-hmm. Uh... It... I forget what her name is. Um, Azalea? Azalea? Yes. Is Azalea around? Uh, she's not right now. Okay. Um, just gonna be like, Azalea, are you there? 
her image appears. Uh, kind of the way it did when she teleported you. Uh-huh. Says, uh huh. You know they're not gone for good, right? Yeah, we yeah. read enough for now. We were wondering if there was um, any way we could stop them from getting in for the moment uh, before either we go after them or try and run them off for good. Well. Also, where's like... the Hydra? <laughs> Uh, she should be in her room just beyond this place. She is that... in her room. I'm imagining like imagine grounding a hydra and <laughs> be like, "Go to your room." Oh my god! Like, please, please tell me it was not in the direction that they ran off in. <laughs> sure was. Oh, oh, we should run after them then. Um, All right. Can is there like uh, a giant? I speak everything. Okay, uh... Shai immediately is like, no. <laughs> yep. Shai is just like, well... Next time I get a feat, I'm just taking a couple more languages, and then I will know them all. Yes, um... So <laughs> Gotta anyway, know them all. Gotta uh, know them all. Do, do you mind watching this this poor, this poor guy while we go uh, make sure your Hydra stays alive? She crouches down next to the giant for a moment. He starts um, speaking to her in giant, and she turns to you and she says, <sighs> Apparently they referred to him as a siege weapon. Aww. Well, I hate them even more now. Yeah. Yes. Um, does he does he have a name otherwise that he would like to be called? Is it Hank? Please tell me it's Hank. It is Hank. Hank! Hey! hey. <laughs> says, yeah. He was burned. By the dwarven firebox right there on the door. Uh, so do take care with that on your way out. Yes. He was uh, burned by propane and propane accessories. He, uh, he got. Thank he got, you. He suffered pain at the hands of propane. It's like, <laughs> sorry to uh, leave him here, but we really should go after them before they cause more trouble. Yes, I'm sorry again, Hank. That was. Uh, yes, you did not deserve that. Yeah. I'm glad that we revived, Hank. Yes, rip in pieces, Hank. Rip. <laughs> uh, you can now, since it's been pointed out uh, by both Hank and Azalea, you do see that there are motion detectors and nozzles lining the wall near the door. I assume they've all been activated, considering that they ran through you. you yes, might. but can we check them to see if they're still active and whether or not we can turn them off? Yeah! I was gonna say, yeah, you could just kind of like, cover the motion sensors. Give me an investigation check or a perception check. All right. I am also gonna do this because I have a high investigation bonus. Okay. I feel too bad about Hank to be able to help you. I got a 21. I got a 19. Okay, yeah, you see this is definitely... It looks like it reclicks itself active every time it goes. Okay. Okay. So, can I try disarming it before we go through? Absolutely. Please give me uh, an athletics God, or acrobatics I wish check. God, I was here. Hmm... Can I just but help? like Vittori is like proficient in thieves tools. I wonder if that helps you. <laughs> uh, rip to Adara, you would have loved this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like Shai, Shai is just like this might be better for Vittori. Yeah, um, I'll help. So but it, it's uh, athletics or acrobatics, right? Yep. Uh, that is a nineteen. Is that with help? What help? Shy helping. helping. Okay, oh, so that's just advantage, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, that is the high roll. Okay. Yeah, I will say you are able to disable um the bulk of the trap. There is something that's kind of catchy. At the bottom, like so a, you feel like, like you song? mostly got it, but not is all. Is there the a way. catchy song, Jess? 
Oh gosh. I'm not I saying. think <laughs> I think we should probably uh get over this trap as fast as we can, hopefully taking minimum damage and it is not like so it like activates. it's not gonna be too bad, right? I mean like if they click if they entered through his all, last of, words. all of this like fire stuff, went into the room that we were just in, got hit by the dawn, ran back through here, like they mm -hmm. must be hurting right now. Yep. I just say the so way you were like, like <laughs> the way you said this can't be that bad of like famous last words. Let's go. I mean Everybody... it's not bad enough that they all like corpses along this corridor from retreating. Mm. At least not, you know. There are two corpses that you can oh, see. Oh, okay. Yep. Rip to them. Were they both okay, two people that like um, lost the 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 save for dawn? Yep. No. Oh, yeah. Rip. Rip. <laughs> yep. You see a knight and a veteran. Uh, and you can smell their crackling flesh. Oh, rip. Ew. That's Vittori walks past them and goes F. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you give me a deck saving throw as you go past them? All right. All of us? Uh, just Vittori, since she's going that first. That is a 16. You dodge that final flame spurt, and the oh, other yeah. two of you have just a moment to get through before it resets itself. Okay. Perfect. Ophelia has absolutely plugged her nose at this. Because <laughs> this does not smell good. Oh, yeah. Running through uh, the hallway, it turns and you find a massive scrying pool that looks like there are wet footsteps around it. And there's also a lot of blood in it. You oh, see no. a couple other dead knights here and in the corner, breathing heavily, is a very injured Hydra. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go over and try and heal the Hydra. What will you do to heal this Hydra? With healing magic. I assume so. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty sure that all of my healing spells have to have touch. At the Hydra. Pet the Hydra. Do you not want to pet the Hydra? Yep. I'm, I'm gonna go for Cure Wounds. Okay. Uh, let's say third level. Okay. <laughs> can you pet the Hydra? Yes. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. <sighs> uh, as you are healing the Hydra, Azalea appears beside you. And seems like she's stroking it, but her strokes go through it since it's just Aww. an illusion of her. She goes, my sweet baby, it'll be okay. It, it'll be all right. Her okay. eyes, though, blaze red and you see actual flames dancing in them. She says, they dared do this to her. God, I wish Vittoria had healing magic. She's like the right. one character I use that does not have healing magic. <laughs> I was gonna say, so, if most of if, my other characters, like, I have, if they can have healing magic, they will have like three spells. Just I for guess... speed, she's going to, the first healing spell it, um, heals 19 points. Okay. And she's going to break the cure wounds bead, which is at second level. Ooh. So that's an additional uh, seven. Okay. I was gonna say, if, uh, if Shy wants help, Ophelia will offer her help with her herbalism kit. But also, Hydras have the ability to regen, right? So... They do. Right, but it, it's like just pouring a yeah. burst of healing energy to help Ye. should be fine. Yes, it just regrows heads for everyone that has died. How is she looking after that healing? She has more than five heads uh, at this point. It looks like she has close to she has close to. I could just give you a number. She has like nine. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. But. I think Vittoria will do some pets with the heads just to help soothe the Hydra. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm helping. She starts to perk up. Uh, Vittori, give me an animal handling check. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no. It's okay, I'm proficient in this now. Are you? That's awesome. I have a plus eight. Yeah, I got a... I got a 19 on the roll, so that is oh, a 27. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, the Hydra actually starts, like, nuzzling Vittori. Oh. oh. Baby. A head comes over and nuzzles shy. Aw. And then one starts, uh, like, looking at Ophelia, like, doing a swivel. Like, are you gonna come pet me too? <laughs> yes, I will, I will offer the Hydra pets, and uh, I will also, as I am petting it, I will be like, Adar is never gonna believe this. <laughs> I can just hear Adara be like, I have a vorpal sword. I can just cut off all yep. of these. <laughs> Shy, Shy will definitely pet the danger noodles. Danger yeah. noodles. Uh, so there are also, you see, the floor is lava. Finely carved dwarven stonework. But in addition to, you know, the dead knights and priests around, um, there's a lot of discarded gear and random bits of equipment around the room. Like, a lot of people have died over the centuries in here. Oof. Anything Probably. interesting? Like, anything magical? Give me a perception check. <laughs> Time to sense magic! Mm. Uh, that is... Math- uh, 22. Oh, yeah. You find a gilded leather bag. Ooh, fun. Is it a bag of holding? Yeah, is it a bag of holding? Sadly, it is not. No. <laughs> is it another bag full of friends? Uh, it, there is a scroll of enlarged reduce in here. Hmm. There is a box of 12 gems carved into detailed animal figurines. Ooh. And Ooh, figurines. Holy shit. Four, Miniatures. Six, nine. Okay. As well as... One. Four. Oh, Vittori. How perfect. Uh, ivory goats. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Figurine of wondrous power. Yeah. I love the goats. And Randomly determined. And you got ivory goats. Yay! Good for her, as she deserves. Yay! You have three goats now. A goat of traveling, a goat of travail, and a goat of terror. <laughs> a goat of terror? Seriously, look them up. They are one of my favorite magic so traveling, items. traveling, terror, and what was the other one? Um, traveling, travail. It becomes a giant goat. And a oh uh, goat of terror. Oh my god, this is perfect! Wow. I just rolled randomly, uh, and that was what you got. <laughs> oh my Enjoy god. Enjoy your that goats. So, that's perfect. Oh man. But Tori's gonna go home to her parents in Aries and be like, look, I have, I have more goats. <laughs> I love- I love the Goat of Terror because you literally just whip off its horns and make it the land! <laughs> Fuck sword! Uh... Approaching the end of this room, you see what was pointed out to you as the last thought. And you see, you know, smashed in Brother Michael. And Ugh. a lot of blood on the ground. Yikes. Yeah, there- there he is. I'm gonna offer to cover Fred's oh eyes. God. I also need to- Tell Luciella that there are three more goats. <laughs> it's GW still here. GW, are you still here? Uh, I don't think they're here. No, they are not in chat. Oh no. Wait. They'll come back. They always come back. <laughs> yeah. They'll come back well, in time for a short sure rest. Well, we could sure use a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe, wow, we're in the middle of combat, and your rest could be really useless about now. God. DW call out hours. Uh, in any case, uh, is there... It, does it look like anyone's missing from the bodies? That anyone is... what? I, I mean, as we were counting up bodies, as we were going through, I was just like... Is there, does, 
<laughs> is there anyone from the group that got away? Thanks, God. <laughs> thank you. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, God. You oh. recognize the bodies of Lord Satchel. And as well as Sir Lawrence Henkelsworth, who had said that women and magic don't mix. How unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it's hat time? It, it is hat, hat time. time. It is hat time according to Gwen. Okay, that's the same as a short rest. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> if, if uh, Eddie did a short rest, I think DW would sue, so, you know. It's, it's good not to infringe on other people's brands, I think. So, um, you know that the last thought has reset itself, and you can see that, um, there is another body there in front of it. Yeah. In front of it? Not just Brother Michael. Someone else. A second bit of pulp? But mm -hmm. there would be no way to determine who that was. Yeah. Nope. Wait, wait, Oof. wait. Uh, so, like, it resets. Would I be able to recognize possibly the armor or clothing? Give me a perception check. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah. You recognize this as Lieutenant Chadwick. F. Chad what a Chad. So, how many has that been, and how many were there in the beginning? There were a lot in the beginning. There were a lot in the beginning. Two with Dawn, two that are a pulp. Let's see, that's that's four already. There was there pulp. how many were newly dead in the Hydra room? Two. So that's oh no, wait no they were not newly dead in the hydro room it didn't look I mean they looked like they had died coming in uh, those were the dawn people okay. it looks like people had died fighting the hydra that you did not affect with the dawn spell because they had died fighting the hydra before we had hit the oh shy had hit them with the dawn spell before that's... you got teleported I, I I I so love that they were like time to retreat and then they just died more because there was no safe haven for them to retreat. <laughs> they do have an encampment just outside. Yeah, but like how many people survived to get to the encampment? Yeah, I know, that's the thing. That that's four. There were more than four in the beginning, right? Oh yeah. yeah. There were okay. ten. So we should probably continue on. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Definitely. I'm gonna see if I I'm can. Going to be a dwindling in them. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can disarm this trap. Okay. Don't worry. Do you want to help me? Yeah. So shy. I'm here too. <laughs> looking at it, you can see that it works via a pressure plate. So you think that uh, you can probably stick something under there to keep the trap from resetting. Okay. I've got a lot of thin tools that might be able to do the job. Okay. So since you're going to use a thin tool for it, I'm going to say, give me like a thieves tools or a sleight of hand check to do it. If you okay. want to muscle your way through it, give me, you can give me an athletics check. All right. We'll see what I want to do. Okay. That, um, I think I'll go with sleight of hand, and that's a non-natural 20. Okay. Nice. nice job. Yeah, you hear a click, and um, the um, pillars seem to sink further into the wall. Okay, and just in case this resets, we should probably quickly go over it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeet. Yeah. Oh, and I did make sure that the Hydra was going to survive before I left. Yeah. You wanted to what? I wanted to make sure that the Hydra was going to survive before I left. Oh yeah, the Hydra's gonna be good. You got Azalea sitting with it, too. Yep. Hell yeah. Okay. Let us continue. Okay. You exit, you head up those stairs that you, you know, didn't walk down. Yeah. <laughs> but now you walk up them. Mm -hmm. And reemerge at 
the knight's encampment. You see several knights uh, that look worse for wear. Couple veterans. That same priest who's managed to stay alive somehow. Uh, priest is the true antagonist this whole time. Oh wait, shit! No, he died from the dawn spell. Just kidding. There's yeah. another. There's a different priest here. This is a different acolyte. Okay. It's just it's the same dude with a mustache on. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna it's, say it's Father Robert. This one. <laughs> and um, you also see um. Captain Kavanaugh, in the back of the encampment, standing on top of a sapphire dragon who is shackled down. What? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Uh, I don't like that. Because they're with the witch! Kill them! Oh, Let's roll God. initiative. Oh my Shy God, again! Can draconic, and Vittori learned Draconic from Shy. Yeah, I know. We could both speak to the dragon and be like, hey, we can free you. I yeah. can't help either one of you guys with that, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I really like how this adventure has been, like, two of the three can do a thing, and the third one is useless. <laughs> and the third one is here, so too. <laughs> um, I got a 24. Dang. Oh. Hill Giant is out. <laughs> And Chai's initiative streak continues with a six. Okay. Oh, God almighty. You did better than the knights. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's fair. That's 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 the win. That's the one you gotta take right now. Oh, uh, what about uh, Ophelia? I got a 22. Oh, oh yeah. dang. <laughs> Sorry, the Sean. Role of, uh, <laughs> the role of Brother Michael will be played by red shirt priest number three. Thank you, yeah. chat. Uh... <laughs> Um, Thanks, Jesse. Uh. Let's see. And then we've got veteran. Got a ten. The rack eight. Jack six. And the priest got a four. Thank you, priests. Very cool. Incredible. Oh, I should have rolled separately for Kavanaugh. I mean, I'll just have him go with the knights. Where so is fine. your god now when you need <laughs> <eat> initiative? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he's just a special knight. Um, okay, Vittori, he's you are up. Boy. I was say he's okay, a special here's boy. the thing. How, like, how much talking with the dragon can I do while also shooting? Talking is a free action. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, some, should I attack first or talk first? It's hmm. up to you. You can be efficient. You can talk and attack. That's true. <laughs> Assume Vittori does those simultaneously. Okay, first I'm gonna do all my rolls, because why not? Uh, she casts Hunter's Mark on the captain, and then she... Uh, I think she... Hmm, I think for now she'll just, um... Do attacks normally just because she doesn't know this good guy's AC. Uh, okay. that is a uh, 14. I don't think that hits. Nope. I'm gonna reroll that. Magic. Oh yeah, that is a 28. Does that hit? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> oh yay. <okay. laughs> oh, the old Vittori special. Okay. Uh, that is. 13 plus 4, so that is 17 points- oh, yeah, 17 points of magical piercing damage. Uh, second attack... ...is a natural 20! Oh! Yay! Nice! Yay! How much was the first damage you gave me? I'm so sorry. Uh, 17. 17? Okay, thank you. Okay, so, for a natural 20, Vittori does, uh... All her damage. 16 points- uh, so 20 base points of damage, and then I add another roll. <laughs> I'm so afraid as to what Draz's noises are. I rolled snake eyes. I rolled one on my d6 and one on my d10. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so um, that is uh, plus the other four. So that is 26 points of magical piercing damage. Okay. And then third attack. 
Mm-hmm. This is, is all on the 20... captain, right? Yeah. Um, is a 22? Does yep. not hit. Yay. And that gives my extra damage because of Umbral shit. Um, that is a much better roll. Um, that is a math, so that's 18 plus 4, so that's 22 plus another 4, so that is... 26 points of magical piercing damage. And he actually goes down. Red. <laughs> hey, maybe it makes more sense for Vittori to attack him and then, like, go over to the Sapphire Dragon and the Kendraconic <laughs> and be like, Hello, we're here to free you! <laughs> <laughs> It's like, awkward. hey, these guys are dipshits. We're not. <laughs> As evidenced by the fact that this man is now dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Okay, so he goes down. And are you just gonna... There's a lot of knights and people in the way, so would you just kind of shout to the dragon in Draconic? Yes, I guess so. Okay. Uh, the dragon responds to you... T well, first, what do you say? You say, like, my name is Vittoria, I'm here to free you. Yeah. Um, I'm Vittori, uh, and these are my friends Shai and Ophelia, and we're here to free you from these people. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to, but like, I guess I guess that's enough for now. This is Jackass. <laughs> the dragon responds telepathically. Hey. Oh, cool. I owe them a debt. Oh. I'm what? bound to them as long as they want to fight you. All right, time to kill. <laughs> Ophelia, you're up. Okay, they're all clustered together, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, okay. kind of milling around their encampment. Okay. That telepathy was just. Go. That telepathy mm -hmm. was just for Vittori, right? Uh yes. Because yeah, it was telepathic. Okay. Uh, cloud of daggers on the center of all of okay. them. So now here's the fun part. Oh my god, now I have to roll 10 d 4 Oh god, okay. Six. Eleven. Seventeen. Twenty. Twenty-four points of slashing damage. It's only five feet, right? The cloud of daggers. It's, it's um, it's a five foot cube. Yeah. Okay. So, so usually put it on like one person. Yeah. So it's a five foot like dimension in every aspect. A yes. five foot murder cube. Essentially, okay. yes. So which one are you putting it on? Um, in the closest concentration of dudes, put it on one of the guys in the center. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Uh... Probably like eating dinner or some shit. Uh, so that was 22? 24. Okay. Uh, one of those knights just straight up dies. Hell yeah. Yikes. From your murder cube. Sorry! <laughs> murder cube, go brrr. Yep, totally. Anything else, Ophelia? Um, that is my action. Let me see what I have for that. Uh, let me see if I have anything that I can do as a bonus action. Hang on a second. No, that's it. That's all I got. Right now. That's it, uh, folks. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, at this point, uh, it is the knight's turn. And, um... Oh, they're taking damage again, then, if it's their turn. Uh, are you moving the Cloud of Daggers? Oh, no, it's just, so, they take damage when they enter the spell area for the first time on a turn, or they start their turn there. <laughs> Well, because you killed the one that it was on. Yeah, but if there's still people around him, okay. he'll still take damage. Yep. I just hey, had a great good. idea for my next turn. I'm so sorry. Uh, 12. 20. 24. 29 points of slashing damage on the ones that are still around the guy who has knives spinning around his body, because apparently they didn't consider that they might want to move. Well, they haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> well, that sucks for them. <laughs> uh, so one of the knights just goes, The captain may be dead, but are we going to let women in Gjorv's sanctuary? 
And uh, one of them goes, Here, here! My wife would never behave like this. Let's show these women what for! Uh, and, um... My wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> so he's gonna move out of the spell range. And, um... He's using leadership to let one of the other knights run up and attack Ophelia. <laughs> okay, have fun. And have fun, my G. He gets to add that to the attack roll. Oh, one. Great. Uh, so that is a 19... 24 to hit you with a sword. Yes. Okay, and then he's going to try and hit again, which I think will not hit because it is just going to be a 16. No. Cool. So that is going to be... 11. 14 slashing damage. Okay. And then the other one's going to go up to hit Vittori, and that's a nat 1. So he's just straight up going to drop his greatsword. <laughs> I just like the idea of someone like going up to Victoria and then tripping over their own feet and then just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeet. And then I'm gonna say he's gonna try and just punch you in the face and miss completely. <laughs> uh... Victoria just laughs the entire time and I hope that deals psychic, psychic damage to them. <laughs> Is that like anime like laughing girl thing? <laughs> yes. Uh, and now these veterans are gonna run up. So, you each get a veteran. a banana peel. And good for right. These are the worst possible wife, guys. Ah, uh, so, veteran for Shy. That's an 18 and a 19 on the die, so I think that's going to hit you. Yep, they do. Okay. But he doesn't hit you with a short sword. Just with his long sword. <laughs> yes, with his medium sword. God, thank you, merciful God. <laughs> So that's 13 slashing damage. Okay. Then for Vittori. Yeah, well. 21 damage, or 21 to hit with a long sword? Yes. Uh, 13. That does, hit. does 18 hit you? Yes. She okay. has pretty low AC compared to everyone else. Does 14 hit you? No. Okay. It's not that low. Jesus. So, you as well. Just get hit with the longsword. They keep missing their short sword attacks. <laughs> so I miss and I missed again. I ate a popsicle. And then I ate a popsicle and I let me down. And I missed. 16 slashing damage for Vittori. had another popsicle. And then for Ophelia. Oh, it's like a dream. Yep. I don't think anybody <laughs> hits Ophelia. Because I don't okay. think a 17 hits you, does it? No. Uh, I just realized I still have a bonus action, and that also meant that my cloud of stars still exists. Okay. Does cool. the cons does it have concentration? No, it just exists no. for an hour. Oh yeah. Cool. Which is nice. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay. And so then the dragon Um is going to telepathically say to Vittori. I can't help you, but I don't have to help them either. And is just Thank going you. to exhale this high-pitched sound in a cone that goes around all of you and the dudes. And oh, everybody give me a con save. Hmm. Oh, cool. I'm terrible at these. Uh, that is a 15. I got a 19. Okay. <laughs> so I rolled a two plus three, and then I was like, oh, maybe Dark One's own luck will help me. And then I'm like, wait, no, that's just a nine. Um, you can use our group inspiration. I don't oh, think I we can. have Okay, use yeah, it. time to find yeah, out. Yeah, go ahead. That's a 22. I'm fine. Hey. So only Vittori failed. Yeah. That's a 22 with, our, with uh, group inspiration. Thank you. <sighs> So, <laughs> Vittori... It's okay, I have a lot of HP. That's fair. Uh, really and let me roll for these dudes to see if any of them fail with you. The knights did not. Are you gonna fall over? 
the veterans, one of them failed. I'm gonna say he failed. I'm guessing this priest is gonna fail. Yes, the priest also failed. Okay, so everybody who failed is taking 37 thunder damage and is yeah. incapacitated until the end of your next turn. What spell was Ooh. that? That yeah, is debilitating dragon. breath. Ooh. And the priest just dies. Yeah. <laughs> F's in chat yeah. for the priest. Uh, everybody else is no taking one. half damage. No so I everyone else lives. is taking 18 damage. So that's... Wait, does, if, if Vitari becomes incapacitated, that means she can't do anything on her turn, right? Yep. Oh yep. god, I had a great plan. I was going to use Spike Growth. And it would have killed so many people. It would have. Uh, one of the knights also died. F. How many are left? Oh my god! Uh, you have one knight left. And you what? have... I was going to say, there can't be that many. And you have three veterans left, one of whom is incapacitated. And now it's Shy's turn. It's just okay. So we we'll just have need to all lay down. Three veterans no one and clergy. one knight. Yep. The veterans are all in front of us, right? How close are they all together? Um, you each have one. You each got attacked with a veteran. So this is my emotional support veteran. <laughs> well, but I'm just saying, could I get them all within a 10-foot radius? No. Okay. You could get two of them. That was a 30-foot spell. That was why that got everybody. 30-foot hoon. Okay. I'm going to target two of them okay with confusion ooh 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 woo so i need a wisdom saving throw from both of them my favorite thing is shy's doing something that i'm like i can't wait till it's my turn and it's just constantly slapping <laughs> these guys <laughs> are you targeting the incapacitated one for one of them because he would auto fail ooh uh, no, I would not target the incapacitated one. Okay. I'd try and get the two that are still, like, completely with it. Uh, good choice. They got a nine and a five. Okay. Nine to five! Dolly Parton was right! Nine to five! <laughs> nine to five. So, oh god, we can't <laughs> sing this or else it will... Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Yes, because we're gonna sing so well, Twitch will pick it up in copyright strike. They are- uh, Yes, that's what I was concerned about, and not us, like, singing it all on a delay. <laughs> they are both confused, and they can't take reactions. Ooh. And they must roll a d10 <laughs> at the start of each of their turns to determine their behavior for that turn. Okay. Kinda of great. I forgot about how well how great confusion is. Good for them. Yep. Uh, and since which is confused. Good and and since um, it this spell is not affected by people attacking them. Mm-hmm. Shy's going to uh summon Mysterious. Mysterious is going to flank and attack. Sweet, go Mysterious. Oh yeah. Yay. Okay, so that is a 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. I don't know why, but my first thought was, what if Mysterious and the Sapphire Dragon become pen pals and start a long-distance relationship? Hell yeah. Okay, <laughs> so that's five piercing damage and five acid damage. And uh, that veteran just dies. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. So that Mysterious' is first kill. I first think blood, so. first blood. I, I was gonna say, I feel like Mysterious has tasted blood before. <laughs> <laughs> tasted I'm blood, yes, it. but maybe not killed. Mysterious does a little dance. Tappy feet. <laughs> you see the words it's come on his wings that are like, I will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> and the 
please say, Mother, I crave violence. <laughs> Your blood fuels me. Oh, but you are your ink on your stories is now red. <laughs> All right. Oh, Vittori, you're incapacitated. Yeah, so I T pose for my entire turn, and okay, goodbye now. Uh, yes, and then you are incapacitated until the end of your turn, so you are free again. Yeah. Ophelia, you're up. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Okay, so uh, there are, there are how many guys left? Uh, there are three. Are one of whom is incapacitated, and one of whom is confused. There's also a dragon okay, who so has taken been... no damage, but sure did a number on everybody. It's okay, fine. so they're within twenty feet of each other. Dragon is a centrist. <laughs> Not the centrist. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, no, but all these guys are still in a 20 feet, uh, or in, within 20 feet of each other, right? Yeah. Okay! For my final spell, I shall cast Synaptic Static! Uh, oh. so now you have to make an intelligent saving throw. Uh, as what Psychic Energy is... explodes. Yeah, so oh. he automatically fails. He automatically fails. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's, uh, uh Nat 1. Uh, <laughs> for the veteran. And the knight got a five. <laughs> I'm just imagining you're like confused and then you hear like this giant like snap like a rubber band going through the air and now you're also psychically distraught. I got I have to roll the damage for these guys. <laughs> okay, six. Eighteen. Uh twenty-four. Wow, I rolled really well for this. Okay, you're taking 34 psychic damage. Uh, every creature is taking 34 psychic damage on a failed save. Okay. Um, and any of them that are still alive... That's uh, none of them. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say... How do you want to do this, Ophelia? <laughs> uh... Oh my god. I would just... I would like to imagine that there is, like I said, like a snap, like a rubber band snapping in the air, and then it just takes them a second, and then they all just fall over unconscious. <laughs> Shy um, looks vaguely disappointed because uh, this is the first time she's had the confusion spell work and she didn't get to see the effect. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. A lot of Fs uh, today, I realize. Yeah. Um, I'm not killing them because this is just psychic like, damage. Uh, so if they try to do anything, there will be consequences for that. But yes, they will all just pass out. Okay. Oh, you're, you're being merciful. You're not going to do a murder this time. <laughs> As a treat. As a treat. Yes. Uh, the so, dragon that's it. does that's a little it, stretch and uh, flexes their wings and... Says, in common to all of you. We can speak in common, shit. As well. I figured a little breath wouldn't hurt the likes of you. Thank it's you fine. for freeing I me. I... I'll get better. Yes, we're, just we're just fine. Thank you, wind. though. I can't imagine hanging around with these... Hmm, what's a good word? Pigs. Pigs. No, I think that's insulting <laughs> to pigs. That's fair. These thoroughly detestable say, yeah, people. Pigs are too nice for this. <laughs> thoroughly detestable people was not fun. Uh, being bound into service was so terribly unpleasant. Um, the name's Whiskers. Look me up if you need me. Whiskers! Oh, yeah. That's so I'll cute. be sure to do that. Wait, shit, what was the Hydra's name? Uh, I don't think we found that. You didn't find name. out. We didn't get her name. Okay, and... trying to go back and like, what's your name? Whiskers takes to the sky and flies away, stretching oh, yeah. uh, their newly freed wings. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, friend. Good luck. 
Bye. Azalea appears beside you in her true form, sees the carnage and chaos, and spits on Kavanaugh. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah, that, that is about what he deserves, yes. Thank you for trusting me. I know not many would believe um, somebody who's lived longer than the average person. Elf. Uh, longer than the average elf, even. Yes, uh, we've yeah. learned not to trust the first story we come across. Especially not if they are being very sexist. Yes. Yes, m mainly that part. <laughs> she takes off a necklace she's been wearing an amulet in the shape of a skull with burning flames uh, for blue eyes. She says, here, mm -hmm. in, in case you need to stay in touch. Ooh. You know, if nobody else will Thank take you. it, I will. I, I, I I like Ophelia to take it just because I think it matches her aesthetic, but... I think it'd be funny, yes. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss this yep. after, after. Yeah, in the yep. behind-the-scenes Patreon! <laughs> yep. You see on Captain Kavanaugh, there are also uh, Fists of Gjorv. They're, um, you'd have to loot them from his body, but there are like... Loot his fists! They're silver gauntlets with the symbol of Georg on them. Mm. Oh, interesting. Um, just out of curiosity, what would that? Uh, what would they give us if we take them? Yeah, I think Matari's interested in taking them just for Adara because I think, oh, those yeah. are new weapons. Uh, they are silver gauntlets with a smug face within a shining sun on both palms. As a oh, bonus that's action, insufferable sy symbol. They give you plus one bonus to AC as long as you're only wearing light armor. You can expend a charge to have your attacks deal 1d4 radiant damage for a minute uh, and increase that with more charges. Oh as an God, action, really cool. you can expend four charges to cast Guiding Bolt. As a ritual, you can expend five to cast Commune, but you make all charisma checks with female characters at disadvantage. Yikes! <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Ooh, that um, is a huge downside, I and I love it. Genuinely good magical items for Shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the gauntlets of like, women too is, pretty to talk to. The thing is, though, <laughs> Shy would prefer not to be punching people with her hands. That's, so. that's also true. Uh, oh, you can like only summon a male deity. With Kamiya. Oh. That's so oh. annoying. Wait, is no. Agma considered a is Agma a man? Considered a man? No, Agma, <laughs> I believe, is female. Agma's male, I thought. Oh, really? Oh, Agma's male. I completely missed that. Time to uh, look uh, it up. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Okay, anyway, um yeah. what I would like to do if we The can, Lord we of can, Knowledge. I, yeah, Agma's a man. Yes. Okay. I thought he was a man. It's yes. like, um, it may have been Agma because... and the Dark Crystal is a woman. I think. That's why. That's why. What? Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, go ahead and chat! <laughs> but also, I was kind of picturing Ogma as this librarian of the gods, and mm. I kind of have, like, Mouse as a librarian image. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, we can do it Pathfinder way. So that all gods can be any gender. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> yes. Uh why would you, why would gods prescribe to the concepts of binary gender? Uh anyway, what I would like to do before we do anything is I would like to uh like I guess take the guys that are passed out and dump them on the nearest uh temple stairs with like a note on their forehead that says something like uh know how to talk to girls Ooh. you know okay also my internet is dying no 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 no, no. can we send there them to anti fish yes. lungs I'd like to... please oh. it's been so long <laughs> yeah you can put them all in a boat yeah. to anti fish lungs what, yeah. one way ticket to anti fish lungs finishing school for wayward boys <laughs> yeah 
Yes! And then, yes, I'm gonna put a little note on their forehead that just says, uh, does not know how to talk to women, please help them. <laughs> yes. Oh, and is there anything else you would like to do as you pack up what remains of this order uh, to anti-fish lungs, who will certainly either educate them or eat them? Um. Okay, along with those. I think um, Shy would also like to keep in touch with this uh, tower through the bright horns. Just kind of reach out. Be like, hey, we're non-judgmental, and if you want to publish papers, I know wizards love research, we could probably work something out. They'd be oh, yeah. aww. No, it's been so long since I've written to anyone. I was even just it's thinking been... of pen pal, but... Well, it's been so long oh. since I did anything peer reviewed. Yes, I would. I would love that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Fucking wizards. Oh, we New should pen pal for shy. Pen too. I bet shy would. Yeah, I was gonna say shy would love a pen pal. Yes, I oh. I would love a Thanks. pen pal. Yay! And... Everyone wins except the yeah. terrible men. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the uncaged You're way. Nothing. Nothing of value was lost. And that was The Lying, The Witch, and The War Zone by Jesse Jordan, who I believe is Punches and Dragons down in the chat. So thank you from Uncaged Volume 4. Stick around because uh, we're going to do a raid. But first, let's find out where you can meet all of these wonderful people, starting with Ophelia, who ended the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, my name is Ink. You can find me on Twitter at These Dead Pens, where I have links to my drawing account, which is also at These Drawn Pens, where I do mainly art, and that's where most of it's gonna live now, because I post too many memes on my main page. Uh, I am an illustrator, I am also a student, and, uh, I just, like I said, I meme and scream on my Twitter. Uh, this week I've been meme and screaming about the fact that, hey, unfortunately for most of you, the panini is not over yet. Please stay at home, please wash your hands, and please continue to be conscious of the fact that other people cannot make choices for themselves sometimes. <laughs> and Shy, who are you? Where can we find you? Hi, I am Zan Larson, also known as Pay What Rabbit on Instagram and Twitter. I am also an illustrator, and I have a website where you can find my illustrations and things, which will also lead you to my store site if you want to buy prints. Um, yeah, I like drawing mythological creatures, mostly. Heck yeah. And Vittori, who are you? Where can we find you? As you can find me on Twitter at Brazilian, where I just post art, really, because my main thing is being a writer, and the thing that I've been writing is under NDA. So you're not gonna find out what the fuck that is for so many months, so <laughs> just know that I write, but... Everyone just sees the art. I'm excited for it. <laughs> and I'm Jess. You can find me. My stuff's all around here. Uh, so the thing that I uh, have to say is that I, in two or a week and a half, I'm going to be running uh, Apillion as part of a charity stream. We're raising money for the Children's Burn Foundation. I just dropped a link to it there. It's going to be on TRPG. I'll talk about it next week, too. But that's going to be a good time. And thank you so much for joining us uh, this Friday and every Friday. We're going to shoot our behind the scenes Patreon video. You can support us on Patreon for access to that and uh, more silly stuff that we do. Join us next Friday when we are playing our final adventure in Uncaged Volume 3, Demon Block Party by Ryan Service. And now we are going to go raid. Oh, let's raid Brado! Yeah. It looks like there's going to be a fundraiser going on. So, yeah, yes. everybody, have a great night. We love you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.